What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and in this episode I'm going to show you how I made this. So um, what I got going on here, I uh, got my outline done in the green tape, um, found some of this lace, and uh, usually you'll see some people either tape it down nice and tight, or um, they have like a, a sticky solution that they'll put on it, like a tack spray that they'll put on the surface of the panel, and then they'll lay down and flat, and it'll... Um, like I said, there won't be any, like, like this little ridge here or poking up off of it. It'll lay nice and flat. But with this, I'm not too worried about it because um, I'm going to be spraying right over top of it. And I'm not going to be too heavy handed with it. So I want this to be a lighter effect with this. But anybody who's seen lace work uh, kind of knows what I'm going for. But... Uh, with it being with the Chevy bow tie being such an odd piece, I'm trying to lay it on there as flat as possible and as centered as possible. Because uh, it, I actually looked up and found a piece that's that's pretty cool. It's got a nice little center piece to it. So let's see if we can make that happen. I'm pretty happy with that. The top of this rose and the bottom of this rose hits the green lines. This. They're all in about the same position, so I don't think I can get any better than that right there. And uh, so, yeah, let's see. Silver background, I got this um, almost like a midnight blue. I think I'm going to do that on the outside first, kind of like a fogged edge on the outside first, and then do this um, super light blue. I've got just kind of like spritzed in the center that way. The overspray from the light blue gets on top of the dark blue and looks more like a, a light source in the middle there. But, you know, airbrush and spray paint does, they do about the same thing. And for this project, the spray paint is going to be just fine. I'm not too worried about it. But uh, any other time, I would love to do airbrush work because I do like that as well. And obviously, you have a little bit more control. But I want to show you all, too, that you don't have to have fancy super fancy products so let's see again I'm just gonna kind of follow that green line in a way and just fog it it's kind of spritzing on me but i think that's all right Yeah, it's spritzing just a little bit, but it's all good. there and then just gonna this is the hardest part that finding that center just all right I might touch up that edge just I don't like 
to let this sit on there too long, so. All right. Looks pretty cool. And then I'm gonna start pulling tape and then probably, well, before I pull tape, I might hit it one more time and really darken up that edge, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So I'm not gonna pull tape quite yet. In fact, I'm gonna switch since this one was spritzing just a little bit more than I would like. So more of a cobalt uh, blue here. And with this kind of stuff, you just want to miss it. You don't want to, you don't want to hit it so hard because the mist is what gives it that fog effect, you know? I think that looks good over that midnight blue. That'll help that out for sure. Not as accurate as an airbrush, but like I said it works and uh, just depends on this. Some of this is older paint too, so uh, the caps are kind of clogged up a little bit, which my bad, should have cleaned them out a little bit before starting, but is what it is. Again, this is stuff, like I said, didn't want to do anything fancy. I wanted to show y'all that it's, it's doable with stuff you got laying around and what you got. So I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit before I start laying my hands on it, trying to pull that tape but don't want to let it sit too long because tape dries, paint dries at the same time. Just not good when you go pulling it. So we're gonna pull it. All right, so uh, it's been a second or a minute or two. Uh, like I said, don't want to wait too long to start pulling this tape because again, not good. But here's some tools, like I said, that you might, uh, it's gonna help you pull the tape a little bit better. It's always hard starting with your finger don't want to be getting all in that tacky paint trying to pull it up at the same time so uh got tools like this you can use that edge of that razor blade kind of scrape up under it get your edge started get you enough to actually pinch and pull or got one of these little tools here i don't know if you can see that but that can help you get up under there just a little bit so i'm going to use both so you're going to try the razor blade first on this little corner here
All right, guys, there you have it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, this was a super fun project, and shout out to my good friend Julio over at Junkyard Chevy on Instagram. He's the one who ordered this. Um, like I said, this is super cool to make. If you need any van parts or anything like that, check him out. He's got a pretty great inventory of parts, and uh, he's probably got exactly what you need. But you'll be seeing this sign pop up at his booth and possibly in his van. He's got some plans for it. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed making this, and I want to make more. So uh, who knows? If that's something you want to see, let me know. Or if that's something you want for yourself, uh, hit me up. But other than that, hope y'all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I have prints, merch, all that cool stuff on my website. So um, check that out as well. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one.